and welcome to um we're gonna do the mcl lcl uh knee special test first so this would be the third part for you and uh we're switching up the angle this time maybe it works worse maybe it works better we'll see um so today we have three tests um we have um uh valgus stress test varus stress test and uh, the q angle measurement and let's start with uh, the valgus and the varus. So in the valgus uh, special test, the position is going to be supine. So the position is, uh, the patient is sitting up or uh, laying down. And in valgus, um, uh, knee test for testing for the MCL on the inside as the force is going to come from the outside. And I hope you can see this, but um, here we have an, ex uh, an extended leg. And first we're going to extend it to um, all the way or to zero degrees. And uh, as I'm holding up uh, with the calcaneus, I'm going to pull on the tibia as I push on the knee inside. And I check for, um, I check for um, what's it called, uh, laxity, uh, or how much uh, movement there is uh, in that direction. And there's not too much because uh, right now the knee is locked. This is why we perform this test uh, two ways. One at zero degrees when the knee is locked and the other way um, when the knee is slightly bent 30 degrees. And we're going to do the same thing. And right now there's way more movement, but um, not, uh, not too much, not uh, enough to make us uh, worry. So this is a healthy MCL. And now we're going to perform the valgus special test. Again, the position is supine. This time we're going to be on the inside of these two legs. Uh, because this time we're going to be pushing on the uh, knee from the inside uh, as we pull on the tibia. Uh, again, we're doing this with first the knee locked and then the knee at 30 degrees. And we're testing for laxity, um, how much movement there is. And if there's too much, the test is going to be positive for, uh, in this case, in the varus uh, stress test uh, for the um, LCL or lateral, lateral collateral ligament on the outside. Because as, we're, as the force is coming from the inside, the ligament on the outside is stretching. Okay, so those are our stress tests. And finally, uh, let's test for our Q angle. Here we have our goniometer. Uh, it's a ruler attached to a piece of paper that resembles a ruler and it has a uh, slight bendability so it works perfectly because usually Q angle isn't that big so if you can move your book just just uh, just a bit just side thank you so in, um, Q angle is basically the angle from um, so there's one point at your anterior superior iliac spine um, uh, that goes down to your um, patella and that and then and then that it goes down to your tibial tuberosity so we're gonna place the middle of the goniometer on the or in this case it would be a circle um mine it's just where the ruler and the paper come together we would place that on the patella and um uh one line we will um or one part one ruler because it's basically two two rulers um attached to each other we will place on the line that stretches from the uh, patella to aces, uh, and the other line will be on the line goes from patella down to uh, tibial tuberosity, if we find right here. And then uh, we take the ruler, uh, we check the angle. Um, so, and in this case, it looks like it's less than 15 degrees, so she doesn't have a risk of ACL tear. So, we'll be fine there, and um, yeah. Uh, anything over 15 degrees uh, would be an increased risk of ACL tear. So um, that's those are our MCL and LCL videos plus the Q angle, um, and I'll see you in the next part.